We're joined now by CTU Vice President Stacy Davis Gates. Stacy, thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So, what is the big holdup in your opinion? What is the one thing that you guys want? Well, the UK variant is certainly um, making this process a bit more difficult than it needs to be, to be honest with you. The largest number of students that we have coming back are on the north side of Chicago, which is, by the way, also the area in the city that is um, experiencing a surge of new infections. Um, out of an abundance of caution, we believe that we can still open high school, but we have to do it and make sure mitigation um, is in place in all schools. Is it a fair comparison to, to compare CPS to um, certainly smaller schools, Catholic schools, that seem to be doing a, a good job with this? Look, there are schools within the Chicago public school system right now that are doing a good job. And then there are other schools that are not doing a good job. We have a big district. What we want the Board of Education to do, what we want our mayor to hear, is the places that are doing this well, that we replicate those things. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm a high school teacher and I am um, and I graduated from high school. Um, if I remember high school, I remember everything that was social about high school. We know that the social interactions are the thing that's driving the upsurge. What we want to do is make sure that we have enough space, that we have enough mitigation factors in place, and that our school communities are clean and ready to go. Right now, we know that the district has yet to hire all of the contact tracers that they promised us, which means that there has been a lag time of about five days right now with elementary schools with notifications. We cannot have that during the surge. We cannot have that with the variant. We cannot have that in high schools. Number two, we know that the 400 custodians that were promised also have not been hired. Our school communities need to be clean and they need to be safe. If we can put all of those things into place, the way in which they were promised, the way in which makes uh, most of us uh, safe as possible, I do believe that we can open. What we are saying is give yourselves enough time to be successful. The biggest challenge is going to be this fall. Getting it right right now means that the 70% of families who have opted to stay remote will see the efficacy in the plan and say that they're coming back in the fall. Again, only 30% of our families have opted in. I'm worried about that 70% and making sure that we get this right for them. Uh, I don't know if you heard the comment from, from one parent, but I, I think there are many parents out there who say, say this is that the teachers are always wanting more. They, they, they come to an agreement and then they always want more. If you've been vaccinated, is, are more janitors and more spacing really going to make or break the situation? Well, a few things about that. As a parent, we always want more. Um, I have three children that I want a whole bunch for. Number two, mitigation factors have to be layered. Dr. Fauci is a prophet of that layering method. And then beyond that, we have the responsibility of, as adults to make sure that the infrastructure is there, that surveillance is there, and that we are doing this in the best interest of our children. Again, reopening a facility is one thing. Reopening a facility that has the resources that we need, the safety mitigations that are necessary, is the work that the adults have to do in this moment to make it safe. We have been an experiment for over a year. Things are changing rapidly. We thought we were out of the woods and now we're in another surge. This goes to show you that you have to remain hyper vigilant and you have to ask for more and you have to be on the front lines pushing for that. Again, the biggest challenge that we will face is not today. It will be in August, bringing back 100% of our families. Only 30% have opted back in. We have to be in a position to prove to the 70% of families that are still remote that we can do this and keep their children safe. Stacy Davis Gates from the Chicago Teachers Union, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you.